Booyah! What up you guys? Welcome back to another one of these videos. Today I'm going to teach you guys the correct way to do the snake exercise. Now, by the way, if you have no idea who I am, my name is Lauri Koskinen. I'm a professional chuckler and a chuckling teacher. And this channel is all about chuckling, so if you're into that, Welcome. <laughs> um, snake pattern is one of the most useful exercises to learn five. Okay, so when you want to learn fly, five, five, when you want to learn five, you want to do the snake exercise. Now, I'm going to show you guys why we do it in a certain rhythm. Okay, most people who say that it's too hard, they use the wrong rhythm. I don't like to say wrong because it's different for different things. But when our goal is to do three object snake to learn five, there is one correct rhythm, okay? I'm gonna show you why it's also correct. So first of all, this is the snake exercise. If you have no idea. Okay, so this is the correct rhythm. This is the correct exercise. Now, the correct rhythm here is bum, 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 bum. So you can hear it's this one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And many people who do this exercise, they make it too hard. They make it one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But it's not this continuous rhythm. If we do that, it will look like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, you can do that, obviously, because I just did it, but it is a different exercise. It is much more difficult to do it like that. Now, the reason why we do it in uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, in this rhythm is because that mimics the five object rhythm, okay? So I'm gonna show you. Now this is with five objects. I got two white balls and three red balls. So now you can see the snake pattern with three going on while going with five objects. So you can see the correct rhythm and it's not one, two, three, one, two, three. So here we go. Okay, I'm gonna count so you can see it. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, Three one two 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 three. So you can see ding 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 ding. So that is the purpose of the exercise. The goal is to mimic that five object pattern, mimic that rhythm. Okay, so that's why the correct snake is done that done 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 done. If we want to do that dun, 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 with five, like the three red balls would go that one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three rhythm, we're doing flashes. We're not juggling five. We draw five in the air, there's a small pause, and then five again in the air. Okay, I'm gonna show you. One, two, three, 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 one. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you can see it's flashing. That is basically low exercise for seven balls. So this is the reason why we do the correct snake rhythm in a way that we do. Now it, it's the same with clubs. Okay, so with clubs as well. One, two, three, one, two, Three one two 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 three. Okay. Now obviously we can do that. One two three one two three one two three one two three. But that is much much more harder. Why would we do that? And also, it is not the correct rhythm for five. So to learn that five using the snake exercise, it is not good. Let me show you again. 
with five clubs as well. So follow the silver ones, not the white ones. So the correct rhythm. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So you can see, again, it goes in the same way. Now, I've actually <laughs> heard someone say that five object snake, no, sorry, um, three object snake with three clubs, three club snake is more difficult than five cascade, when five club cascade. And uh, that's, to me, that is very, very silly and uneducated thing to say because it's obviously not it's easier version of five so how can that be more difficult it's like saying three objects in one hand is more difficult than six no it's not <laughs> so if if you've had some problems with the snake pattern usually the reason is you're doing it wrong okay and that is what i see so many times still I see people doing it wrong, in the wrong rhythm, okay? Um, yeah, just to give you guys some quick tips, if you wanna practice the snake. <clears throat> this is the biggest tip. So when you're juggling, make sure that you follow always the same line. So what I mean, you throw one here, next one goes in the same, sorry, same line, so it goes cross. Usually what I see is that first one goes well, and then they start to go straight up. So it goes cross and then straight up. And it's very hard to keep the snake pattern going if it starts to go in the center, you know? So try not to move it. So when you practice the snake, always try to get it in the correct place, especially the last one and the first one. So that's like the biggest tip just a quick uh, pro tip after. So when you do practice the snake, it's all about the angles, okay? Now, if you've never done this before, please start with balls because those can be the easiest. And if you go with the clubs, yeah, go for it. But yeah, just remember the angles, okay? It's all about the angles. Uh, this is not a tutorial per se, but it's more about the correct rhythm, but People who are struggling with that, it is usually the angles. So make sure that you throw every time within that same line, within the same angle, okay? And with clubs, this is also something that you see a lot. When people juggle like this, make sure that if you throw cross with right hand to the left, it's like this. So the big end here is more on the left and the handle stays in the right. So you draw like this, not that way. Okay, so when we cross, we want the big end cross like that. And when we throw with the left hand to right, we want to turn it this way as well. So that's the biggest things, okay? The angle with the clubs. With balls, you don't have to worry about the angle. With rings, you do have to worry about the angle. Um, but yeah, so make sure that the angle is right, that you throw it in. And then also the line that you throw it in is correct always so the all three go within that same line because a lot of times like i said the first one gets thrown here the next one a little bit more center and the last one straight up and then it's very hard to go under with the left hand so yeah turn it in the correct angles and then make sure they all stay within the same line and remember the correct rhythm and now you know why now you know why the correct rhythm is correct rhythm <laughs> but yeah that's it uh, just some quick explanation on the snake pattern why we do it in a way that we do it because we mimic the five object cascade with that exercise all right that's it thank you so much for watching <clears throat> if you want to see more about tutorials like this and more videos you want to learn chuckling with me i do have my online chuckling course chucklingmastery.com uh, it's definitely worth to check it out it has hundreds and hundreds of tutorials so yeah i highly recommend checking it out i put the link below chucklingmastery.com that is it thank you so much for watching 
and I will see you in the next video.